Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have all of the ultimate kickoff solo challenge rewards. Now, it's currently 3 a.m. right now. Just finished all of the solo challenges. It took me about, honestly, I, I think like six hours. It might be a little bit more than six hours, but it definitely took me a long time. And I'd say the solo challenges are no joke. They're actually, some of them can be kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, we have the ultimate kickoff, 10 NAT gold players. We also have 482 to 84s and 285 to 88s. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at the sets, you guys can see exactly what we need. Now to get yourself, say, Brandon Graham, you guys can see we need 285 to 88s. We also need ourselves 682 to 84s, and then I believe 14 gold players. So you almost get all these players, I think, from the solos. Now, I have to say, I think I have one or maybe two packs that I got from completing objective lists. So I think maybe two of these packs, and they're just going to be like the gold player packs, are not going to be able to be earned through the solo challenges so with that being said we do have these packs to open again 10 nat golds 482 84s and 285 to 88s so i'll do the math real quick but i'm pretty sure that actually almost allows you to get a free one so you only need to get two more 82 to 84 players and then i think it's probably eight or nine that you get of the nat gold players from the solo challenges again i do have 10 so this basically will allow me to complete a set now, if we take a look at the solo challenges, there was 99 solo challenges to do. And honestly, some of these guys, they were absolutely crazy. Now, I have to say the hardest ones were the full game challenges because obviously they took the longest. Besides that, though, it would be the rushing ones because obviously you had to score rush touchdown for four players. Uh, again, you go all the way to the end and you have to score a rushing touchdown from the 48 yard line in two touch in two plays. And then you have to score a rush touchdown uh, from your 44 yard line in two plays. So obviously that was kind of hard. And then on the last solo challenges, you had to score a rushing touchdown from your own 25 yard line. So a 75 yard rushing touchdown in one play. Not the easiest thing to do. Besides that, these last ones are just full games as well. And it honestly was not that bad, but just the rushing ones was kind of hard for me. Now, also, if you guys aren't already following me on Twitch, make sure you guys do. I'm currently 6-0 and in Weekend League, but let's go ahead and get into these packs. See if we can pull something good. We are going to be doing a 90 overall player set as well in this video. And as you guys know, I already do have Ezekiel, or Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, 79, Mitch Trubisky. Not good stats. Not good stats at all. Let's keep going through these packs. I want to see exactly what all the players are. I honestly don't know all the players and how their stats are. Clayton Gathers, 82 speed, 86 hit power, 63 zone though. That is absolutely terrible. That is that is god awful. Uh, we actually get a 78 Kelvin Beach. So somebody a little bit different, 77 strength. Again, meh. Kind of looking for some budget beast out of these gold player packs. I think there's a Dion Buchanan. Buster Scrime, minus in speed, 86 speed. I believe there's a Dion Buchanan, but he might actually be an elite card. I know he's a right outside linebacker, I believe, and he has just crazy, crazy good speed. I think he has like 83, 84 speed, something like that, so hopefully we can pull him. So I can show you guys his stats as we get a Sean Robinson, maybe good. Block shed, 76. Ugh. That is not too good. On to the next NAT gold player pack, and then of course we get into the other high overall leagues. We get John Ross. 91 speed with 88 excel so the problem with john ross being out now is the fact that tyreek hill has 93 speed with 93 excel <laughs> you're not going to get faster than tyreek hill now so john ross kind of fell off in terms of you need to get john ross because of his speed because really tyreek hill is just that dude uh now that he has like a team of the weekend in general just 83 overall card but still super super fast as once again with 75 anthony chicolo 73 speed Six seven block shit. That's pretty dang bad. I believe this will be the final NAT gold player pack as it is. And we end up getting ourselves a 78 clean killer. So we have four 82 to 84s, and then we have two 85 to 88 overalls going into these packs. The 88 overalls low-key might would use my team, so I have to check on those. But nice little pack animation. We get 82 
Tony Jefferson. Um, probably not going to add the best speed, to be honest. 81 speed. Yeah, that's real bad. Does have 85 hit power, 80 zone coverage. But again, not with that speed. That speed, no. I, I cannot work with that speed. Uh, 82 to 84, we 83 Mark Barron. Of course, 81 speed, 82 acceleration, 90 hit power with an 80 zone coverage. That's pretty nice. I got to say that zone coverage is pretty freaking nice. On to the third card. What are we going to get? Or I mean, the hit power is pretty nice. Oh, okay. This is interesting. I didn't. What? I did not know there was a kicker. So we got 88 Robbie Gold. Now, I actually, I think I'm going to use him. Uh, he does have 90 kick power with 83 kick accuracy. So obviously, his kick accuracy, his kick accuracy is extremely good. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to use this Robbie Gold card. 85 to 88 pack. I did not even know there was a kicker. This might just be my new kicker, to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, on to the next 82 84. Not sure why we actually open up an 85 to 88. But we pulled Robbie Gold. Can't be mad at that. 82 84. Once again, we get Tony Jefferson. On to the final 82 to 84 overall elite player pack. And we get ourselves a 83 Marcus Williams, aka the man they can't tackle. 83 speed, 85 excel, 76 tackling, 76 zone, and a 79 hit power. Final card, 85 to 88. Can we get maybe uh, something else to use on that team? That kicker was pretty nice. And we're going to get 87 Calais Campbell. So he does have 87 tackling with the 89 block shit. 88 finesse with 6, 7 speed. Extremely underrated card, or extremely underrated player, I should say. Don't understand why he only has an 87 overall card. Uh, definitely should have a way, way better card. But with that being said, guys, let me go ahead and take a look at the sets. And we're going to complete these 90 overalls. Now, just taking a look at the prices of these 90 overall players, it's kind of crazy to see how cheap they are already. As you guys can see, Zeke is 215,000 coins, Drew Brees 250,000 coins, and Brandon Graham 215,000 coins. Then you have Casey Hayward, who's about 225k. So I guess right now the move would be to do Casey Hayward, just try to sell him off as fast as you possibly can. Uh, and then we also have, for the 92 overalls, kept scrolling through there, 92 overalls, we have Antonio Brown, who's 600k. Rob Gronkowski, another 600,000 coins. And we have Luke Keekley, who was also 600,000 coins. If you guys haven't seen their stats, Antonio Brown compared to Jerry Rice. That's how it's looking for that. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it to get Antonio Brown if you have Jerry Rice. If you don't have Jerry Rice, I suggest you guys look into him. Also, Rob Gronkowski compared to Greg Olson. Once again, I don't really see the point in upgrading. And if this even is an upgrade for me... The four speed that Greg has, the spec catch is higher, the route running is higher. I really don't think Gronk would be an upgrade over him. And then also Keekly, my middle linebackers right now, Bobby Wagner and Ryan Shazier. Yeah, Keekly does have amazing tackle, amazing play rec, amazing zone, great hit power. But I really don't think I could use this card that much because obviously even later in the year, this is a 92 overall card. And the card only has 82 speed. 92 Bobby Wagner probably have 85 speed. So... The speed is too slow, Antonio Brown's not good enough, and Gronk is not good enough. So we're going to go ahead and complete these sets, though. We are going to probably end up getting, I guess, Casey Hayward, because it seems as though he is the most expensive one at this time. Now, because we did actually want to keep Robbie Gold, we do have to go ahead and buy Kevin Zietler. Or I think it's Kevin Zeitler, maybe? I'm pretty sure it's Zeitler, actually. To be able to get this set done, so it did cost about 68,000 coins, but Casey Hayward... We're going to be able to get him done for about 60k, so really not that bad. As you guys can see, 90 overall Casey Hayward, I will be selling this card because I honestly don't need him. Uh, 86 speed, 86 acceleration, 85 agility, 81 jumping, 94 play rec, 90 man, 93 zone, 90 press. I mean, it's a pretty good card. He does have, so I have 85 catching with a 60 tackle, 81 jumping, which is kind of bad, to be honest. Uh, 51 block shit as well. Now, I can technically actually get another set done because i did open the bundle and get a bunch of these cards as nat so i really don't know what else to do now i could just trade them all in and get an elite auction player which is what i think i might actually do instead of doing one of these sets because as of right now you guys can see i have an 85d8 which would be robbie gold and then i have the bunch just a bunch of gold so i guess i'm just gonna have to go ahead and, and I guess turn them in the exchange set and sell the elite that I end up pulling. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, 
smack the like button subscribe and comment let me know down below what do you guys think about this new promo ultimate kickoff i think it's pretty solid uh personally maybe it's because i'm a cowboys fan but i just feel like zeke is probably the best card uh out of these four players breeze is pretty good but if you have vic you have steve young you're probably not going to want to get breeze uh brandon graham already have reggie white so he's really not even close to his good casey hayward again just kind of slow does have good play rec uh zone coverage man coverage of getting kenned up a little bit but zeke for me he's still not the best running back in the game uh probably for me anyways He's actually played just about as good as Ricky Williams had. So having those two on the team definitely helps out. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Also, this video will be up after my Legends video. So if you guys haven't seen that pack open, make sure you guys go check it out. I'm sure you open a bundle in there. So I'll see you guys next time.